Hi Pisces, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to a general reading, um, focusing on your love life. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at some energies for Pisces placements, Sun, Moon, Venus rising, or any other Piscean placements that will resonate for you in your chart. So let's go ahead and get started. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys. Um, if you would like a personal reading, make sure you check out the booking information in the description box, okay? Pisces, who are you at this time? Thank you so much. Show me Pisces, okay? All right, Pisces, you are the five of lightning. This is the five of swords, okay? So let's see who you are at this time. Right now, you could be feeling... um. I'm sorry, this is the six of lightning, <laughs> okay? Totally, because I was like, totally different energy there. Six of swords, okay? Six of lightning, okay? So you're feeling peaceful about something. Um, You could be moving on from a certain idea. You could be moving on energy-wise from something, from someone. Um, A lot of you could... There's something you've been sweeping under the rug, Okay? And this feels like acceptance, no longer sweeping something under the rug. Okay. You see how that lightning is gripping that um, broom there. And so it feels as if you guys are finally allowing yourselves to accept something and no longer brush it aside, sweep it under the rug here. Um, let's, let's see your story. Okay. Why we have this. What's going on with Pisces in their love life? Thank you so much. What do we have for Pisces? We have the Ten of Potions, the Ten of Cups. All right. What do we have for you, Pisces? All right. We have Transformation, which would be our Death card. Okay. I see what you're sweeping under the rug. Okay. So the Knight of Candles. Um, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with an energy a person that feels like they changed you. This person has been very instrumental in your life. Um, I feel like this person has shown you things, has transformed your perspective in a lot of ways. I feel like there's a lot of gratefulness coming from you with the Ten of Cups and dealing with this energy. There's something about them that really makes you happy. With the Six of Cups, and I'm sorry, with the Six of Lightning and the Ten of Cups, um, I'm getting that Someone transformed you, okay? Um, you could feel like this person made you a better person. Transformation, Knight of Candles here. Let's see what's coming through. You could be dealing with a Knight of Wands energy. And then we have the Nine of Pumpkins, Nine of Pentacles. So what I feel is that a lot of you are embracing a more independent individual side of yourself outside of a relationship. I feel like there's something about the Six of Swords and the Ten of Cups feeling like um you're you've reached a pinnacle right of accomplishment and success in a in a relationship in your life and you're feeling like it needs to transform now right this is when you kind of are about to like move away from something but you don't have any hard feelings towards it this is also that energy of look at what i've gained in the process as an empress look at all the things i have to be grateful for a lot of you could be an incredibly maternal nurturing energy right now and so i feel like in your love life um you could be dealing with someone who has made you feel like it's better to be single or this person behaving single while with you is giving you the mindset I need to embrace my own independence um this is where I feel like this person sort of changed your perspective so you probably in the past would have looked at it like oh this person is you know playing games and now I almost get an energy of you feeling like this person um needs to be free <laughs> uh somebody could be thinking this about you the roles could absolutely be reversed if the roles are reversed it's either it's an air sign who's thinking this about you um libra also aquarius gemini um but i'm getting the energy of someone wanting to set someone free okay if that makes sense i do feel like this is a setting someone free in a peaceful way i'm focused on this transformation because i feel like you guys have changed each other um let me just see what this transformation is saying here for pisces You've changed one another. It's the five of pumpkins. 
I'm sorry. Again, it's the six of pumpkins. <laughs> you shared your lives together. I'm getting used to these cards um, not being like the traditional pinnacles, wands, swords, and the Roman numerals too. But um, look, I feel like um, you guys definitely learned a lot from each other, shared. I'm feeling the need to use past tense in this reading. What is this Knight of Candles? I feel like you guys shared a lot with one another. Um the Eight of Potions, the Knight of Candles, um, the so this Eight of Potions is an Eight of Cups, which is your energy, and so this is what I'm saying. I feel like you have learned a lot of um who you are today has been healed, and this could also be vice versa. The person you connected to, who you are today is a healed version of your past self, a better version of your past self. And I do feel where you're dealing with an energy who wants to be free. Someone wants to be free here. Um, and so I'm almost picking up that you're taking it well, like you're taking this well with the nine of pumpkins. Um, you're embracing your independence. That empress energy was there. What is this six of lightning about? Um, you're done sweeping something under the rug. You want someone to be happy. Ten of pumpkins, ten of pentacles. I feel like this is about you accepting that someone will always be family or always be in your life. This is accepting that you will always have a place in someone's heart and home. This could also be how someone is feeling about you. Now we have the four of lightning here. Um, I just feel like something has been going on for a long time and you guys have been wanting to free yourselves or free someone else. What is this um, nine of pumpkins about? Two of pumpkins, two of pentacles. You know, I feel like a lot of you were afraid, um, feeling like maybe you couldn't manage um, without something that you had grown used to. You go from the ten of pentacles to kind of like the two of pentacles, right? And so you could feel like it's a loss with the six of pentacles. You felt like you were more balanced and on your feet with this person. And something feels like somebody's going to be okay, right? Um, And so what's this 10 of potions? Um, What is this 10 of potions? Ace of lightning, ace of swords, right? You've had a breakthrough that you're really happy. You feel really fulfilled. You feel accomplished. You feel like you made a difference in someone's life and someone made a difference in your life. You've had this revelation for the past three weeks. What is this Eight of Cups with the Knight of Wands? It's the Ace of Candles. It is the Ace of Wands, okay? I feel like um, this feels more like the energy of the person you're dealing with. But again, it could be, you know, your energy. I definitely feel like there's an energy in your life, master, devil energy showing up here. This person is someone that um, has a very magnetic, charismatic pull in this connection. It's very hard to pull away from this person. Um, but I'm picking up this person is wanting to start over in their life. I feel like you've been wanting to remind them of the good times you guys share. Somebody's wanting to remind someone. What is this ace of lightning with the um, ten of potions? Because we got two aces here. The five of pumpkins. So this feels like you realizing it's a breakthrough moment, okay? This is a breakthrough. Ten of Cups with the Ace of Swords and the Five of Pumpkins. That is the Five of Pentacles energy. Um, I feel like you're realizing that if you go past this point with this person, it won't get better from here. Right. It, it right now, it feels like you're, you're in a place to accept something for the better. But if you continue 
what happens is less and less. Two of Pentacles, you start to receive less and less. Five of Pentacles. Because again, it's like, it's kind of like, it's better to end on a high note kind of thing. You know, you and this person are not hating each other. I feel like there's just something about this person wanting something new in their life. You are also wanting something new in your life, but you keep getting turned around to this um, energy. And so I'm picking up that the Five of Pentacles is representing that a lot of you... um I think you put it to this person. We can start over, right? And I almost feel like this person said three of potions, three of cups. Um, let's be friends. One person is trying to make a separation easy on the other person. It could be you trying to make a separation easy on somebody. It could be the other person. Um, let me just see what this two of pumpkins is with this um, nine of pumpkins. Someone feels like you guys can accomplish more together. But again, I feel like even you are done sweeping this under the rug. You know that there are some things that are better left alone at the peak then to proceed, keep going, and then have something. There's a lot of control in this reading. You guys are trying to control yourselves and emotions. Three of swords, three of lightning here, right? So basically, this feels like the negotiation stages of what could be a separation and how do we transform this into something where we can still share lives with one another because the nine of pentacles, two of pentacles, three of swords, I feel like for the most part, um, a lot of you have possibly been trying to keep someone in your life or someone has been trying to keep you in their life, albeit in kind of an unbalanced way right? In a way that may not even be working and be stripping you of your independence or stripping someone else of their independence to avoid heartache. This is the thing you're tired of sweeping under the rug. Okay. So something's being addressed um, in a relationship that feels like there's a transformation stage happening and you're going from one thing with this person to another, okay? So Pisces, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for trusting me with your personal reading. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, head to thesunsage.com.